Hello YouTube gun people. I wanted to talk to you today about um, uh, eye protection for when you're shooting. So, um, you know, we're all, we're all faced with that. You go to the range, you hear eyes and ears. That means uh, get your protective gear on. Not that you're going to get shot in the eye, hopefully. Uh, but um, it'll protect you if you get a case separation. Uh, can blow back. Uh, for instance, this gun is in fact safe. You get a case separation, it blows back, you can get metal fragments coming back hitting you in the face. Um, if, you, if you fire, uh, you can uh, get um, ricochets that come back. You get a case, uh, not a case, but a jacket separation. So the, the, the uh, copper comes off the lead and that can bounce back. You see that a lot um, on ranges, a lot. Uh, so if you're shooting steel, um, if you're even if you're shooting, uh, uh, you see it a lot on an indoor range too, depending on what kind of backstop it is. So ear, eye, and ear protection. Let's do some eye protection stuff. What you what you really want to have is um, a, a few options. You don't have to spend a lot of a lot of money on eye protection. That's pretty good. You can go to um, your favorite sporting and store and pick up a pair of shooting glasses. They need to be shooting glasses. You can get a pair of shooting glasses that for like 10 bucks. No big deal. Uh, and they'll work okay. Uh, they're not very comfortable. The quality of the lenses, the optical clarity of lenses is not very good. You um, and they're easy to scratch. There's no scratch protection on them. And they don't particularly feel very comfortable while you're wearing them. But they'll work uh, and they'll protect your eyes. And the impact resistance may be, may be not uh, up to the same standard as uh, some of the better grade uh, eye protection. So I'm going to give you two examples today of two products. Uh, the first one is, let's go through this one first, Randolph Engineering. Uh, makes these, and as you can see, RE on the case here. Uh, and these are really, really, uh, here we go. These are Rangers. These are uh, m mostly made for uh, shotgun shooting, trap shooting. Uh, and essentially what, what these, these um, glasses are doing is, is uh, <coughs> protecting you from, from uh, something bad happening in your breech. You, and uh, actually, from these will stop a uh, shotgun pellet. I think it's it's like you know under a certain size. I'm not sure, but they're high impact resistance. They are they are um, plastic plastic frames. The nice thing, well, Randolph Engineering also is made uh, in Massachusetts. These are made in Massachusetts. That's good. Uh, I mean, something's still made here. They're really nice glasses. Very comfortable. They cover your eyes, but not they don't wrap around and really cover, uh, so you, you can get intrusion from the side. Not so much of a big deal for trap shooting, but this is definitely a nice set of glasses. They have the wrap around ear pieces, so they fit nice on your on your on your head. You can mold these, so they they're pretty custom in terms of how they fit. They have springs in them, so you're not going to really bend them or break them. And they're reinforced and, and uh, actually quite well made. The nice thing about these for trap shooting is it comes in uh, three different color lenses. There's this red lens, the reddish lens, or like a rose color maybe. There's this purple one, um, which is for brighter light. This is sort of like your standard kind of day. The purple ones are more if you're looking into really bright light, right? And then if you have low light or you're shooting at night, uh, for instance, our trap range is illuminated at night. We have stadium lights you can shoot at night. You can use yellow lenses. All these colors, you know, why these as opposed to gray? Why purple and not gray for uh, bright sunshine? Well, the, the reason being is you're shooting at a clay pigeon. They're typically orange color. All these colors um, really work well in terms of highlighting that uh, clay pigeon or bird so you can pick it up very, very well where you're shooting at it. So this is one 
one option. They also make other styles that wrap around more. Uh, very high quality, relatively expensive um, pair of shooting glasses. Uh, Randolph Engineering is definitely over a hundred bucks for this set with, with the three lenses. But if they're really an indispensable tool for, for trap shooting, there's just no way around that. And you could use them for pistol shooting, rifle shooting, whatever else you like. Absolutely outstanding product. Very comfortable, very durable, very well made. And Randolph Engineering, their customer support, I have to say, is also outstanding. Uh, there's um, a second type of shooting glass is that I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, is from iSafety Systems Incorporated. Uh, hopefully that's focused. Yeah, there you go. ESS. These are the ICE Eye Shield uh, glasses. These are, um, there's a few really nice things about these. Um, first of all, these, these products are, are really uh, made to a very high standard. Um, they have a nice case with. Um, a foam insert here. You get, uh, if you're a fan of stickers, you get a pretty bitchin' sticker. Uh, they're modestly priced. You can find them on Amazon for around the $60 range. And they um, are extremely well built. I really prefer these for pistol shooting. Okay, These are clear. These guys come with uh, three different lenses, lens colors. Again, yellow. Uh, you can use and then a dark gray. Now shooting a pistol, for instance if you're shooting an IDPA match or whatever match you, you shoot, um, and you're outside in bright sunlight, the gray for a pistol uh, works well. Okay, Works really well. And these just simply uh, pop in and out of the frames. Okay, Very, very easy, easy to do that. I want to keep this video short so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pop them out. If you wear glasses and you don't like contact lenses, you can actually get these made with uh, prescription inserts as well. All right, uh, So the insert is sort of behind the lens. The nose piece is actually very nice as well. Uh, you can see it's kind of ventilated. See that, that piece there? Uh, so you can get airflow there that prevents the glasses from fogging up. And of course you can treat them with, um, with this no fog cloth that they, uh, oops, this cloth that they supply you with uh, right here that you can use to keep your um, uh, these just can use to clean your uh, to clean your your lenses and to uh, and to prevent them from fogging up. Yeah, there's another simple trick for cleaning lenses. If you clean lenses, the best way to clean a lens. Uh, lukewarm water, tap water, a little bit of soap detergent. Use, use, you know, use your fingers. Uh, rinse them off first, a little soap and water, and then dry them with a microfiber kind of cloth. Don't use tissue paper. It's uh, somewhat abrasive, believe it or not. It will scratch them. I'm not sure it'll scratch these guys, but it will scratch uh, most most lens type of materials. Better yet, if you could get a some canned air and blow off any debris if you have obvious debris on them it's it's, it's even that much better these can be uh, the the, uh, the the temple pieces can be adjusted for length uh, and you can bend these uh, around to to fit your to fit your um, head where they're very very comfortable uh, this particular um, shooting uh, shooting glasses. These particular shooting glasses uh, have a nice advantage in that uh, they meet military spec for uh, for intrusion. So this is a, a very well tested product in terms of being able to stop uh, stop uh, objects from penetrating this this glass. Uh, and I think that's that's. Um, a really key element. You really don't want a ricochet or anything else coming back, uh, smashing you in the face and uh, and and uh, destroying destroying your um, your vision permanently. They also come with a nerd band, so you can put that on there and strap them right onto your head, f you know, forever. I don't really use that. Um, yeah. So uh, that's what I want to talk to you about for shooting glasses. I think uh, Eye Shield Systems, this particular, uh, excuse me, Eye Safety Systems, right here, 
uh, these uh, these eye shields are particularly good uh, for for pistol shooting. I like them a lot, and actually for rifle. I don't think they're as good as the Randolph Engineering for, for trap or sporting clay shooting, though, in my opinion. Now, you can go to certain uh, to a higher level. I know Oakley makes uh, several different styles. A lot of them are like this. They tend to wrap around, give you better eye protection. Bigger is better as long as they fit your face. You really want to cover your eye and, and prevent anything from getting in from the top, bottom, or the side. So this, this really really accomplishes that. Okay. Uh, Oakley's, Oakley makes some really, really good uh, shooting glasses as well. They're very expensive. You're paying uh, for the Oakley name, but you're also paying for quality. You know, a big thing in all lens material, if you, whether it be a camera, a, a rifle scope, uh, and, you know, you know, any anything uh, that's got to um, pass light through it. Uh, the optical, the better the optical clarity, um, the the more you will like them. It's just a trade-off in terms of price. So you got to get to a price point where, you know, you're you're not just spending a lot of money uh, at a point where you're not going to notice a difference, right? So you can, for instance, for optical clarity on on, um, on for instance. A, uh, a pair of binoculars. You can spend two thousand dollars on a pair of 8x binoculars. You know, uh, but you know, for me, the optical clarity doesn't make that much of a difference compared to a pair of like two hundred fifty dollar Nikon Monarch binoculars. Uh, so that, but that's just me. I will say, however, that as you get to smaller and smaller um, lens diameters where you're uh, relying on light gathering capability, and this isn't really about shooting glasses, so I'm digressing a little bit. You want the best light gathering capability, which is partly uh, related to the optical quality of the, of the glass that they're using uh, and to, to um, be able to see in low light conditions. So for instance, on my range finder, I have a Leica range finder, and I spent a, a lot more money on it because then other range finders are relatively expensive and the advantage being uh, you're only using one eye so it's basically a monocular you look at it look through it uh, shoots a laser and it's got a, a laser detection device and it can measure distances that way but the op optical clarity on that 7x lens is such that it has better light gathering capability um, than, than my binoculars do and uh, also that 7x lens being such high, so high quality uh, you can see almost as well as you can with a, with a 10x lens in terms of resolution and resolution is just the ability to distinguish um, two, two objects that are very very close together so the limit of resolution means that you can tell there's two versus one object you can resolve between the two objects okay for everybody that took high school biology and never looked through a microscope that's um, a little bit about optics. I, I wear, really, really key, get a pair that fits you, the pair you can afford. If it's just a $10 pair from, from Dick's Sporting Goods, that's fine. These, uh, my uh, uh, family got these for me for Christmas. It's a really nice Christmas present, very, very thoughtful. Uh, and, and they're, they're um, really pleasant to use and I enjoy them a lot. I highly recommend these. I've shot a few times with them. Put them on, you don't even know they're there. They're also very, very light. The Randolphs are somewhat heavier. Uh, just, the way, just the way they're, they're made. They're metal frame. This is a plastic frame. Also comes in this pretty swanky case that if you are really cool you can clip this to your belt or actually run it through your belt right here and impress the ladies at the range.